28. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we just want to find that change in entropy. Change in entropy is a delta S value. And since we're using standard values at the back of the textbook, right, Appendix G, we're solving for standard delta S, which means that I have to include that notch here. What we're talking about is randomness, you know, randomness of molecules and what's going on here. So let's see. Now, I did go to the back of the book to find out what your S values are for each individual component. So we have H2 gas, which is an S value of 130.7, Br2, which is 152.23, and HBr, which is 198.7. How are we going to utilize these numbers to find out what the overall change in entropy is? Well, that's the formula right here. Let me just bring this down. Delta S for the whole entire reaction, the change in entropy for the whole entire reaction, Rxn reaction, is the sum, that's what this symbol means, the sum, so just adding, the sum of all your products minus the sum of all your reactants. So basically it's products minus reactants. But now, are these numbers going to be the same or are they going to change? Well, it goes with the balanced equation. Keep in mind that for H2 and Br2, you had only one of these, but for HBr, you have two. So for ones that you have multiple of, keep in mind that this, these numbers are for one mole. But if you have two of them, you gotta take that value, so the 198.7, and times it by two. Do the same thing here, right? But I mean, anything times one is itself, but just to kind of show you, you would times this by one, and you times this number by one as well. Now we have to add them all up, take the sum. It's literally H2 gas plus Br2 liquid, so it'd be this plus this. This I don't have to add anything because there's only just HBr on the product side, but let's just see what you know the sums are. So for the reactants, 130.7 plus 152.23, I get 282.93. And then for your product side, 198.7 times two, I get 397.4. Let's plug it in. Delta S for the whole entire reaction is your products, which is 397.4 minus your reactants, so that's 282.93, and delta S for the whole entire reaction is, seems like it's gonna be a positive number, 397.4 minus 282.93. Sig fig purposes, you should only have one sig fig after the decimal, because we're subtracting here, so it'd be 114.5. And that unit is the same unit as your S values in the back of the book, which are joules per mole times Kelvin. And that is your answer. And the positive answer makes sense. If we look back at the balanced equation, always look for the highest entropy molecules, which are gonna be your gases. In this case, you started off with one mole of gas and you went to two moles of gas. So you basically doubled your amount of gas that's doubling the amount of entropy, you know, quote unquote. It's not exactly that, but you can kind of think of it that way. So that's why your answer is positive. You're going to something that is more entropic, more random. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I look forward to helping you out with future problems. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.